Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to my YouTube channel. So today I am bringing you this look right here. It's a beautiful burgundy plum smoky eye, super on trend for autumn. Um, I'm really excited about it because it is a luxe look for less. That's right, this look was so affordable, you guys will not even believe it, it's literally a joke. So today's look is all thanks to Emco Beauty. I am very excited to show you guys this look because literally it was so easy, so affordable to achieve. You guys will literally not believe it. Um, so I'm going to take you through a few things about Emco Beauty first and then we'll dive on into the tutorial. Okay, so a little bit of information about Emco Beauty for those of you guys that are not familiar. Emco Beauty is an Australian owned beauty brand. They are cruelty free, so none of the products that you see here are going to be tested on animals. That is a big win. Emco Beauty is super onto it with the makeup trends, but for an affordable price, which I absolutely love. So for all of you Aussie babes, if you're looking to check out any of the products that you see in today's video, just head on down to your local Woolies and you can pick it up there. Easy as that. I will be leaving all the product details that you guys need to know for today's video in the description below. I'll include all the products that I've spoken about, their price, where you can get them, at Woolies. And I will also leave all of Emco Beauty's Instagram handles, website, all their details will be below, so make sure you go and check that out as well. I also kind of want to play a little game for today's video because I thought it would be kind of fun. So I would love for you guys to guess in the comments how much you think each of the products in today's video combined total cost. So basically, can you guess the cost of this look right here? Can you guess? I'm going to leave the answer in the description for you. Make sure there's no cheating. Make sure you leave your answer in the comments below and let's jump into it. So first things first, I'm going to go in with Instant Brows. Now, this is a soft wax formula, so not only is it going to help me shape and define my brow, but it's also going to help the brow stay in place all day long because the wax is going to help it keep its shape, which is amazing. I don't want my brows going anywhere no matter what I have planned for the day. So I'm starting with the tail of the brow, and I'm just doing little hair light strokes through the tail of the brow to help define the arch and the tail. And then as I get closer towards the middle of my brow, I'm using less pressure to help give a more ombre effect. And always using a light hand, doing really feather-like strokes as you get to the front of the brow. Wow, you guys, this glides through the brow so well. That is crazy. I'm really impressed with that. How quick was that? That was like the quickest... So good. Also, I just want to mention, um, this is the shade Light Medium and Hello. This is like the most perfect match to my brow colour. Like, insanely good. So, the great thing about this product is it also comes with a spoolie on the other end. So I'm going to take the spoolie now and I'm just going to brush this through my brows, going in an upward motion. This is just going to create a more feathery more almost like a bushier brow which is the look that I actually love um, it's just gonna make them look more feathery and more natural and then if you notice any sparse areas the pencil is great to just go back into those and fill them in you know as I'm brushing through my brows I'm really noticing that the wax is really helping to keep them in shape and holding the shape that I've created which is Fantastic. Alright, so I did mention that I love a fuller looking brow. So now I'm going to go in with more brows. This is also in the shade Light Medium. And you guys will see that in here they have these tiny little baby little fibery hairs. And when brushed through the brow, they're going to evenly distribute onto your natural hair. And it's really going to help to fill in any sparser areas and give a really full looking brow. So I'm just going to start by brushing this through my brows in upward motion. So simple and so easy to use. This also gives the brow a lot more definition um, because you're adding more of a layered texture to it. So it's really just going to define the brow even more. And oh my god, that is a good brow, if you ask me. <laughs> See how full my brows look? Like I am literally living out my brow dreams right now. I wish my brows were this full naturally, but hey, fake it till you make it, you know? 
Okay, so we're nearly at the fun part, which is eyeshadow, but I do have a base on. I've got foundation, concealer. I have not set it yet. It's really important to set your base before going in with shadows because this is going to create a perfect canvas for the shadows to go on top of. So I want to make sure everything's set and ready for shadows. And for this, I'm going to be using the Brighten and Correct Banana Powder. So not only does the banana powder help to brighten up the under eye area because of that yellowy tone to it, but it's also going to set your makeup in place and help it to stay and not slip around during the day. If any of you struggle with oily skin as well, or you tend to get shiny throughout the day, banana powder is really gonna help to set your makeup in place and stop it from slipping around and getting oily. So I'm just gonna take the banana powder and pop it onto a nice big fluffy brush and I'm just going to pat this very gently underneath my eyes. I'm also going to put it on the lid to help set that as well. I do tend to get quite oily lids throughout the day and that can really ruin your eyeshadow look. So I'm also going to pop that on my lids as well. To me, I literally can see the results like straight away. This is without the banana powder and this is with. How much has that brightened up my under eye? Like here you can still see like my dark circles here and then this side like hello <laughs> it just looks so much more smoother so much brighter yeah so good all right so now as for the fun part i'm gonna go in with the eyeshadow trend palette this is super on trend at the moment we are in autumn at the moment and these like earthy plummy colors are like mm. They are my jam right now, so I'm very excited to dive on in. I will also make note that it also comes with its own little brush, which is very, very handy for those of you that don't have a super extensive brush collection um, and you want to buy the eyeshadow palette, at least you know it comes with its own brush so that you don't have to worry about having to go out and buy other products. It's almost like a two for one. You know? I'm going to start out with this color here and I'm going to use this as kind of the base shade. I'm going to pop it all over the lid and then really soften it out at the edges. And as always, I'm just flicking this towards the tail of my brow, just making sure it's soft at the edges here as well. I'm also going to run this underneath the lower lash line as well. Now I'm going to go in with this deeper shade here and we're going to run that through the crease. This is going to be our crease shade. I'm also going to define the outer corner of my eye with this as well. And then again, I'm also going to run this underneath my lower lash line. I'm not picking up any extra product with this. I'm just very lightly dusting it underneath just to help keep the look really cohesive. And also I want to add like almost like a cat eye. So I'm flicking everything towards the tail of my brow just to keep it very like lioness type of <laughs> type of look. Doing this is also going to create a more wider, more awake um, looking eye rather than blending down and having it drag down your eye. The more you push up and blow out your eyeshadow, the more you're going to pull out your eye and open up that eye. So I always like to flick my shadow up and out. <laughs> now I literally cannot resist that beautiful purple plummy shade. So I'm going to go in with this and I'm just going to tap this onto the outer corner of the eye just to add a little color and I'm also going to run it underneath my lower lash line. That color is so freaking beautiful. I can't, I can't even deal. I love colors like this. Now that we've got that color down, things are looking a little messy, but that's absolutely fine. I'm going to go back in with that big fluffy brush and we're just going to blend everything out. These shadows, by the way, are blending so nicely together. Like it's insane for a super affordable product and to have that much blendability. It's a yes for me. Another great tip for you guys is if you get any eyeshadow that's a little bit lower than you originally desired, you can always go back in with your Brighten and Correct Banana Powder. Um, so I'm just gonna grab some of that now and I'm just gonna run it underneath my eye again just to help clean up the edges and make sure everything blends really beautifully. Now it's not a matter of if I'm gonna use one of the shimmers, it's more a matter of which shimmer I'm gonna use because they're all so beautiful. But this one here, honestly, it is speaking to me. So I'm gonna go in with this one here and I'm just going to pack that onto the lid 
and then very softly blend it out through the crease. Now finally I'm going to take this shade up here and I'm just going to pop that right into the inner corner just to really brighten that area and give it a little bit more like oomph, you know? <laughs> See how intense that is? Oh, love it. Okay. So again, if you have any fallout, I'm just going to quickly grab that banana powder again and just go over the under eye area just to clean everything up. And then it's time for lashes. All right, so everyone knows that my lashes are literally non-existent, so I need all the help that I can get. Um, and I love me a really fat, thick mascara wand. I don't know what it is about it, but it excites me. And so I'm super excited to try the Fat Lash. I've never tried this one before. Um, so let's, let's hope that it does things for me. I already love the wand. The fact that this wand is really fat is really exciting me. Um, and it also has almost like a rounded edge at the top, which I feel would be great for getting the lower lashes as well. I love wands that are sort of multi-purpose for top and bottom lash because trust me, we all know that doing top lashes is very different to doing bottom lashes. So I love a wand that caters for both. So I'm going to go ahead and pop this on now. Everyone knows mascara. I need full concentration for this. I do not want to stuff it up. But I will just let you guys know this formula is super creamy and buildable as well. So you can keep going in until you have the desired layer and the volume that you want. So if you want a little extra volume, you can go in with a second layer of this. But I do love the fact that you can build this up because there's nothing worse than your mascara drying too quickly and then you try to go back in for a second layer and it just goes flaky and crumbly, this will not do that to you. <laughs> All right, so as far as my natural lashes go, um, this is pretty dang good. Um, so I'm a big fan now. I also freaking love this packaging. Like, is this not just so beautiful, this color, like the beautiful rose gold? Oh, it's gonna look so good on my vanity. All right, so now that the eyes are done, this look would not be complete without adding a little glow to the face. So I'm gonna go in with the highlight and glow stick. And hello, how freaking satisfying does that beautiful, glowy, smooth, shiny edge look? Like that is so beautiful. And I feel really bad that I'm gonna have to ruin it now and use it, but it does look beautiful. So I'm gonna go on in and pop this on my cheeks and not only is this going to add a little color and a little blush to the cheeks but it's also going to add a beautiful natural dewy looking glow i usually find blending it out with your fingers is the best with any cream product um, just because the warmth of your finger is going to help the product melt into the skin and it's just going to give you a more seamless blend there's this beautiful pink tinge to it, which is just adding really nice natural flush to the cheek as well. I'm also going to add a little bit of this to my Cupid's bow as well. Just to give a natural glow. Alrighty, you guys. So this is the finished look. I really hope that you enjoyed this tutorial. I cannot believe how affordable all these beautiful products are and they all performed so so well as you guys all saw and they're all cruelty free as well so it's a win-win. I'm going to leave all the details of the products that you saw here today down in the description below as usual. If you did enjoy this video please give me a big thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe as well. I hope you guys have an awesome day and I will see you in my next video if not sooner. <laughs> Stay together now until forever Just us, just us